Hey guys, um, hope y'all are having a better afternoon than what we are today. Uh, there has been an emergency rescue in progress uh, for about the last 45 minutes to an hour. You see this little guy is not a pit bull, um, but he's with a pit bull. He's with a pit bull that we got a phone call about just a short while ago. Um, this not doing very good at all. Uh, I'm so mad right now I don't even know really what to say. Um, that would be appropriate for, for family Facebook live videos. Um, this little guy right here, you can't see because of all the hair that he's got on him, but he is nothing but skin and bones. Um, he's covered in fleas. He's got flea dermatitis. His hair's falling out. Um, when we arrived on scene to rescue the pit bull that we were called about, this little guy right here threw a fit, and there was no way that we were leaving him behind when he was bound and determined to go with his little buddy. Um, and it doesn't seem to matter which one of them we move. One of them is always looking for the other one. Um, they're, they're definitely going to end up being a bonded pair. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't really have anywhere in a, a pit bull kennel to keep the little guy. He only weighs eight pounds. Um, so I think the best scenario right now is I'm just going to try to take both of them home uh, for a little while. And when you see the condition of the pit bull that we rescued today, you'll understand why. Um, now, before I go in there and I show you what's laying in the office floor, I want you to understand that it's not for the faint of heart at all. Um, if you have children in the room, you may even want to ask them to leave until you see the situation. And you can always go back and replay the live video um, because it's not a pretty sight. It's not pretty at all. We're talking about a dog that should weigh maybe 50, 60 pounds. And right now he weighs... I could be wrong. I, I need to look at the paper again. I've been so upset. Um, but 26 pounds, 28 pounds, um, and I will look at the, the paper again and confirm that for you and let you know the exact weight. Um, I do know that this little guy right here is only 8 pounds. Can you see him? And he's just so happy to be sitting next to somebody and, and have a little a little meal in his belly. Um, we did go ahead and we gave him a little bitty brevecto. Um, to help with the fleas and stuff and he's got little scabs all over him um now is your opportunity uh, i'm getting ready to get up now and walk in there in the office and turn the camera around um and it is something that you may not want your children to see uh, you may not want to see it yourself we're talking about a dog that right now is currently unable to hold his head up for more than 30 seconds um it, if he tries to hold his head up it laws backwards and he can't control it um it's going to be bad. It's going to be long-term healing. We're we're referring to a dog that is also very dehydrated, um, and he will most likely need to be hand-fed uh, very slowly, multiple times a day. Um, it's just a really, really bad situation, so I want you to be aware of that before I walk in the room. Um, and I will get that exact weight for you. Um, and in the meantime, right now, all we need, all we can do really is just pray for him. Um, and then uh, we're going to need donations. I'm going to try to get him into the vet first thing in the morning. Um, we already had vet appointments scheduled, so I'm hoping we can kind of tag along and Dr. Carey will be able to, to take a look at him and do something. Um, but right now, the main thing is just to get him rehydrated and get just a tiny little bit of food on his stomach and see where we can go from there. Um, and again, if, if this is something that you don't want to see, it, it is going to be bad uh, when I show you what we're working with right now. So, so you know, you may want to bow out or watch it later or whatever. Um, but, but here we go. Uh, let me see if I can figure out how to turn the camera around without losing you. All right. You, you see, see little bitty here? Can you guys see what I see? Do you see the small dog that, that come with the pit bull? Candy, can you see the little dog? That's kind of what I see on my screen, but I'm not sure what you guys are seeing right now. All right, here we go. This little guy does not have a name yet. Uh, thank you, Heidi. Thank you, Tiffany. I'm, I'm running a little slow. Um, this dog is maybe two years old. This is the, the intake form that I started for him here, but he is 26 and a half pounds. Um, and, and should easily be 50 to 60 pounds. Uh, he's kind of freezing cold right now. His blood count's really low. We've not done any blood work. We've not run any tests yet. Um, and, and as you can see, his little buddy's going to come in here and check on him every couple of minutes. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the little thing, but 
but I can't separate them right now. I, I think one's going to be just as good for the other one. Um, Amy, let's, let's move the blanket and just let them see. Hmm. It's all right, buddy. And like I said, he doesn't have a name yet. I, we're going to come up with one, I, I promise. Um, but he's going to need a strong name. He's going to need something important. Um, I know you guys kind of like it when I take my hand and I lay it to where you can see just how bad this really is. Oh, I'm on Amy's foot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amy. But my whole hand fits between the hip bone and the rib cage here. Um, and... and God's truth, it's like I'm touch I might as well be touching the pillow that he's laying on um because there is literally nothing there but skin and bones. That is it. Um his feet are in really bad condition. You can see here his toenails. Um some are worse than others. You can see there. And see he barely has strength to uh to pull his foot away from me. Um and I know that this is nasty, but y'all, we are talking about a dog that is so weak right now that he was unable to get up and defecate when he needed to. Um, so what you're seeing on him is not mud. Um, we're going to have to try to get him cleaned up. Um, but but that that is his own feces and his own waste that's all over his back legs and his tail and his feet. Um, Nace, thank you for asking that, sweetheart. There is very, very little color in his gums. Blood count is going to be very low. You can see right here. Uh, we do have right here a little bit of pink around this little line right here. And that gives us just a little bit of hope. Um, the rest of him is completely pale. Inside the ears, there's no color except for where he's got the sores from where the fleas and stuff have just been tearing him up. Um, let's see if he'll let me move his leg again. Um, we've got, it's all right, buddy. We've got a bunch of ant bites right here. Um, sorry, I told you to tell your kids to leave the room. I'm, I'm not molesting the dog, I promise. Um, but ant bites and what looks like maybe rub sores right here. Um, this right here is all going to be ant bites. There, I saw one a while ago and I don't, oh, there, right there. See, these right here are already filling up with pus from where the ants were just eating him up on the side of the road. Um, and and the, the lady that called me about him, y'all, she told me her name two or three times, and I promise you, I, I, after I got the picture, everything else just left in my mind. And I cannot remember what she said her name was, but bless her heart for calling us and, and getting us to contact her right away so that this dog could get the help that he needed. Um, we, We're looking at a very, very difficult situation here. Uh, and, and I make no promises on this one. Um, you know, normally I, I'll, I'll let you guys know and I'll say, this dog's got it. It ain't no problem. Yeah, they're weak, but, but they got this. This one I'm not real sure about. Um, I am going to take him home. I am going to gonna put him in the bed. He's going to need a heating pad. Um, I don't have a heating pad. All I have at my house is an electric blanket that, that's on my bed. Um, but I am going to use that for him and try to get that body temperature back up to where it needs to be. Joyce, um, unfortunately, in situations like this, we don't know who the owner is. Both of these little dogs, or I say little dogs, this one should be a big one. But both of these little dogs were dumped out on the side of the road, and nobody knows who that they belong to. Um, and, and because of that, at this time, um, an owner will not be prosecuted. We, we can't prosecute someone that we don't even know who it is. Um, and I, I honestly, in the situation that these dogs are, are in, I don't think an owner is going to come forward at this time. I mean, this is nothing but skull right here. Yeah, it, it's all skull. Um, there's no muscle mass. There's no nothing. The whole head is sunk in. Um, if we were to touch between the eye socket and the ear and put a little pressure there, we could probably feel the backside of the eyeball. Um, but, it, you know, it, it's not worth that to cause pain to him just to prove a point. What is it? A little frisky. Now, this one right here feels a little bit better than his buddy, but he sure is worried about him. Um, and and I, I promise each and every one of you, but most of all, I promise these two dogs that we're going to do absolutely everything we can for them, even though you is not a pit bull. Mm -hmm. I don't know who lied to you, but pit bulls are not tiny, and they are not fluffy. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. But you are a sweetheart, and Aunt D kind of likes you too. Um, and, and, you know, I, I think about that. 
and uh and i think about mr kevin curry and, and his little little girl that he's got with the the little vampire teeth and i can't even think of her name right now i think it may be sophie um but but i see pictures of her all the time and i just love that little dog so much i've never met her in person but she's so cute and this little guy right here kind of has the same little teeth his stick out right there on the side real far <laughs> and uh my daughter has already started calling him vlad for right now because she says that he looks like the, like a dracula puppy with the way that those teeth hang down nice um baby. Glenda, these were found right here in Lowndes County. Uh, they were they were found at the end of Hughes Road, um, where it meets Nashville Ferry. Um, but this is this is kind of what we're dealing with right now. Um, and and like I said, we're, we'll be up all night. We're going to be doing our best to get this this big little guy right here through the night. Um, and try to get him to doc carry tomorrow uh first uh, just as quick as we possibly can and as quick as she can you know she can get to him um i know that we're going to need blood work we're going to need lab lab results we're going to need all kinds of, of expensive tests run on him so that we can make sure that there's no underlying issues as to why he is so thin other than he just had a piece of shit owner that didn't feed him um and, and you know i hate to put it that way but but that's just what it is um and I, i'm really leaning toward maybe he just didn't get the nourishment that he needed especially since his little buddy over here is as thin as he is um but say it's really hard to see with this guy because of all the fluff on him and and he got him a little bitty can of sardines and and it won't be long i feel like he'll be ready to to go sound asleep now now a little vlad here he he is in a lot better shape than his buddy um but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take both of them home, and I'm gonna let my daughter work on, on this little guy here. Um, and, and while she's taking care of him, I'm gonna take care of, of the big guy um, and do hand feedings. Um, we're gonna need more, a lot more of the, um, what is that food? It's high protein. Is, uh, is it dog? dog chow, Purina high dog chow high protein canned feed. Yeah, it's on our um, Amazon wish list. It's on the Amazon wish list. We are going to need lots and lots of that. We are going to need lots of sardines and tuna in oil. Um, I'll also be cooking deer meat and rice for this little guy. Just, I mean, if he'll eat it, we're going to try to give it to him. Um, we, we just got to get a lot of protein in him and little bitty servings. Um, and and I, I, I know we're trying to get the body temperature up, but for those of you just now joining us, um, cause I see, I see this number up here up top going way up. Uh, this is what we're currently working with. He is, what I say again, 26 and a half, 26 and a half pounds. Um, Sheila, as, as soon as I, I don't know how to work this thing. So as soon as I get, uh, off this live or whatever, Amy gets back to her phone. Cause I have trouble finding the Amazon link. We will post it in the comments. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure it's just, um, it's dog chow, um, high protein. I, it's in a green little can. Mm -hmm. You can get the gravy or you can get the, the pate food or whatever. Um, it, at this point, it doesn't matter. Just anything that, that he would be willing to, to nibble on a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm trying to read comments too, guys. Um. Uh, Nace Gerhart. I, I can't read the whole comment. I can't see all of it. Let's see. Could need a feeding tube and transfusions. Positive is no outward sign of infection. So hopefully he'll pull through. Makes sense that the little is in better shape. Yeah. Little was probably an indoor pup and the pity was probably left in the backyard and dumped together. Uh, you are absolutely right, sweetheart. I don't see any infections uh, visibly outside. Thank you, Bertha. Um, Sheila, there's the, Bertha's got the list for, uh, Amazon, um, she just posted that for me in the comments, um, anyway, what I was saying, um, yes, what you're saying makes perfect sense, there, there's no visible outward infections going on, um, but we're still concerned about blood infections, um, and tick-borne illnesses is such as Ehrlichia babesia, something like that. Um, both of those attack the red blood cells, and it's not something that you can see. 
um, but they, they are extensive and ex expensive treatment, um, and that will also cause the dog to stop eating. However, I will say that with both of them being in basically the same condition, one just a, a little bit worse than the other one, um, I, I would say that this is just simply a case of, of lack of nourishment here. Um, thank you, Bertha. Uh, there you are. Uh, Courtney. Courtney is the lady that called us ab about... Uh, these two dogs right here um but uh her and her daughters were the ones that found them on the on the side of the road um and thank you courtney for for making sure that they were able to get the help that they needed um we're like i said we're just going to kind of take our time with this guy um and uh and see what we can figure out we have gone ahead and give him just a little bitty dose of the brevecto to try to help with all the fleas that are on him and also kill any ants or anything like that that may still be on there um but for right now that's the only only medicine that we're going to give him um just because we don't want to overexert his system or try to make him process too much at one time um but but i've been on here long enough and it's time for us to get him wrapped up and covered up uh get him home try to get him cleaned up a little bit and get him comfortable um and maybe i can do an update from home later on again depending on my service um but if nothing else i'm pretty sure that i can find a way to get a picture or something posted of tonight and give y'all an update right before bed uh and let you know how we're doing but it, it's going to be a time will tell situation and just as just as him. quick as we can get him to the vet in the morning that's exactly where we'll be at um it's 90% going to depend on his will to live. Right. It, it, it's it's probably more than 90% going to depend on him because I'm going to be honest with you. As, as small as he is, yeah. no, you know, Child pretty much any cool. any like overdose it. of medicine that would kill whatever m may be wrong with him is going to be too much for his system to handle right now. So it's it's going to be a waiting game. Um Elaine, thank you, sweetheart. We need tuna. We need uh, sardines. We're going to need the high-protein canned dog food from our wish list. Um, if anybody wants to send a couple of bags of the, the Taste of the Wild Ancient Prairie, um, that's what we've been feeding. It's super high in protein. It's easy on digestion. It's also good for allergies. Um, Heidi, yes, uh, if you could get a heating pad to me, you can send it to the rescue or you can send it to my house. You have both addresses. Um, either way, this, this guy's going to have to be warmed up. And, I, you know, I, I just, I wish, I wish I could explain to you just how cold he is because honestly, in all the, the years that I've been doing this and I've been doing this with Amy and Kenneth for seven years, um, I've never felt one this cold, especially when it's as warm as it is outside. Um, so we really got to get this, this blood count back up and get these levels good. Um, and, and I will give an update on how he's doing and there probably won't be much change, but I will give an update on how he's doing later on, uh, tonight. And then I will let you know as, as soon as we know what the vet says is wrong with him, we'll, we'll get another, um, update video and we'll take care of that. Uh, and until then, I'll talk to you guys later tonight and thank you so much for tuning in to meet this little guy um and and be sure when you you get a second or you just kind of thinking about him just say a little prayer and send a little bit of hope his way um and and we'll talk to you soon bye-bye